All right, finally, scarab fish. Hello, everybody. Jetpack Booty here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Uh, today's episode, we're starting off by turning into scarab fish because we can. And both of my desert water sources just aren't good. I don't know why. Bunny fish trophy. Um, put it up here for now. Anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be attempting to fight the Queen Bee. I feel like we have a pretty good shot at it. Seeing our, how our luck in previous boss fights has been. So I'm gonna take off the Lava Charm. Uh, also, since the last episode, I've done a few things, such as made this bridge very long. It spans like three biomes i also made pits to the desert because the desert is annoying enough and if it ever gets corrupted or hollowified it's just going to become even more annoying so yeah i've dealt with that uh I i'd say that's about it there actually there's like a few things from the desert that uh might kind of be cool but uh I don't remember where I keep my life crystals. There they are. Also, I have a bunch of potions. Which is always good. For boss fights. Hopefully I can remember to take them. Also, archery potions. I'm going to start using those because... I feel like they might be handy now. Want to get as many arrows as I can. Uh, actually, we have more flaming arrows. I'm just kind of sorting everything out. Oh, where are my chains? Uh, actually, one heart lantern is probably going to be enough. Alright, but before we do that, I do want to show some of the stuff that I actually found in the desert, because surprise, surprise, blowing a hole in the earth could give us some rewards. However, I think I, re I looted the chest on this side. I didn't loot that one because, you know, it's not really that useful. There's a couple of chests on the left side that... Might be handy. And w one thing that was really annoying was I had to blow out all the walls. Uh, because, you know, walls can... Oh yeah, there's this chest, which I think had a Thunder Zapper in it. Which is a mage weapon that could be kind of good. I don't really know. I'm not sure if it's like on par with the Boomstick or no. Or something. Okay, so, yeah, I've looted most of the chests on this side. Yeah, uh, I got a... Got a mythical thunder zapper from one of the chests. I have no... I have no idea how good it's gonna be. Probably replace my meatball for, for now. Keep the meatball on me, though, because... Well, it goes really fast, so it might be useful. Anyway, on the left side is, um, eh, might not actually be that good. It, well, it, it's, it's actually pretty good for a ranged weapon. Also, I'm going to want to keep my Bezor on me. Yeah, so there's two chests down here, which I have not looted in the slightest. Oh, that is if I could fall down to get the chests. Oh, I missed both of them. Th thanks, me. So yeah, th I, the thing that annoys me about these chests is they were super close to w where I was kind of digging around at, and I believe it was episode episode two or three. I'm not gonna check at this very moment, but somewhere around there. 
And then... Uh, Dune Rider boots, those would have been useful. But now they're not useful. Alright, so I think I have all the touring done. Of course, there's a hell bridge, but that's a hell bridge. I can't really get anything too interesting from that. So I guess... Not sure how annoying it's going to be getting to the actual place, but hopefully it doesn't... Hopefully it isn't too bad. Alright, uh, this is the beehive. I have my bazaar on me. Uh, it's kind of hard to see where the little queen bee thing is supposed to... Like where the little bee, baby bee is. Hopefully we don't mess things up. Alright. Yeah, we need to be very careful. When being in the home of the bee. Uh, we'll cut ahead till this arena's all set up. And then we can get to the actual boss fight. Alright. Uh... I think I saw, like, the beehive down there. Yeah, I was right. Now, the good thing about the queen bee is that she does not, uh... Uh, is that her little bee minions, uh, can't poison me. And I guess, actually, to an extent, the Queen Bee herself, because of my bizarre. Ouch. How is she already halfway down? I can't be that good. <laughs> like, I, kn I know that... I, like, played Terraria multiple times to kind of, like, master it or whatever, but I, it's master mode. I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't be at just at under 300 health right now. Like, constantly. Like, that was my first potion, and she's at, like, quarter health. What is this? Maybe it is the Bizor. Who really knows? I I don't, apparently. Okay, but her dash attack does do damage. Hey. Okay. Got a Queen Bee Relic. What did we get? No way! We got the Honey Goggles. Nice! How long can this thing fly for? Huh. Yeah, so we got- Oh, nice! We got the bee's knees? Oh, the- <laughs> No pun intended, but you could say that was the bee's knees. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that was a really good run. Dang, one of the reasons why I kinda- well, there wasn't a few episodes, just because, I don't know, I was kind of worried about just having a thing where, you know, just a bunch of Bosch fights, and, like, nothing too interesting happened, but that was really good. Uh, I'm going to put the Slimy Saddle in here, because I, I guess, hmm, yeah, boss stuff, I guess, would probably just be, oh, I never opened this King Slime treasure bag. Uh... Alright, yeah. Ninja stuff can go in there. Yeah, that was really nice. And I guess Hive is a material. Despite not looking very materialistic. Uh, well, I, I was going to say let me sort out my inventory, but the inventory is almost already sorted out, so that's nice. Actually, B-Wax. 
Uh, okay, just the Hornet Staff. Um, keep the B-Nades in here. Because I don't want to accidentally use them. Beast Knees is a very good weapon. Uh, I'm going to say that's, that, that's probably got to replace the Boomstick. Actually, maybe the Thunder Zapper. I have to rearrange everything. Ah. Anyway, now we can place our Queen Bee Relic up here. Look at that. Of course, I'm leaving a space for the Eater of Worlds when we eventually do fight the Eater of Worlds because Eater of Worlds is kind of like that progression-wise. Also, I guess I should have retired the Meatball. Are there any more hives, uh, kind of out and about? If not, then I'm pro I might just fight her above ground, because I don't really feel like, you know. Actually, that being said, I don't think I actually need to fight the queen bee anymore. <laughs> this episode has gone too smoothly. What in the world? Huh. Oh. Um. Actually, I probably should have not have canceled those. But. Uh, let me check the recording real quick. Because. I, there's only one final thing I can I can really think of. That would. Kind of. Make this recording interesting. Alright. Yeah, we have plenty of time to do this. I'm going to. Get some defender medals. Get. An Eternia crystal stand and the crystal itself. And. Uh. Hmm. I feel like I. I feel like Bliss is good, but I rarely use it. Uh. See, so I'm taking the little. Yeah, but I guess I should probably mention that we are doing the Old Ones Army, for those of you who don't know. Um. Yeah. Let's do again. I was not <laughs> expecting Queen Bee to go that smoothly. I, uh, I, I do think I'm playing on Master Mode. Like, I don't doubt it. It's just... No, that's good, honestly. I've gotten so skilled to the point where, like, it doesn't even feel right. Also, I need to get rid of all these gravestones. I need to start holding on to gravestones, so that way uh, we can make a graveyard biome. You know. I guess let's just do this thing. Yeah. Uh that there so that way the dry actually no the dryad probably have fought some of them oh well what does this do i guess how why are they clipping through the ground like that they don't need to do that Oh, nice. Alright, more mana. Bl no, you don't. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am not sure if I can allow that. Wow, the ballistas are really good. Get another blister rod there. Oh, 
This definitely isn't as going as smoothly as in normal mode. I will give it that. Like, I definitely do feel like there's a chance I could mess up greatly and die. Yeah, the ballistas can take on all those lads. Um. Hey now, no, no javelins. Javelins are a dangerous weapon, I say, as I have four ballistas firing and a bunch of bees. Bees a buzzing. Ah, uh, blister rod. Those dudes, that guy like teleported. Felt like. Um. Alright, uh, Blisterod. There, where art thou? There art thou. Oh. It's like an, oh, 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 no, naughty, bad bingus, bad bingus, bad, bad, bad bingus. No, no, naughty. Hey, stop it, stop it. We might lose this one. Yeah. Well, we can always retry. That was a good run. But we failed it. Uh, hey, angler. What quest do you have for me? A sky lake? Gee, I wonder where I could find one of those. Uh, yeah, here. Oh, hello, zoologist. You just saw me teleport into existence. Must have been very confusing. So now we wait for a fish. Oh, okay. Thank you, fish. At some point I need to make an actual base, because I don't plan on living this in the snowman for the entire series. I just don't know where I 
I would put the base, you know. But, um, yeah. I think on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I will see you guys all later. And goodbye.